Hello, hello everybody, guys, gals, and we're back. Rochester the Gnome, you get to see me draw Slowpoke with the ducks chasing after Slowpoke's tail. So let's go ahead and hold this card up real quick. Let's see here, we're zoomed in a little bit too much I guess. So I want to be careful, and that's what we're going to be drawing. But before we get started, we're going to go ahead and show a few cards here. So let's see here. We got another slow poke. Try to angle it right. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Let's see here. It's a little bit better. All right. So let's go ahead and move these pokey balls out of the way so we can show these cards real quick. And we got this little doohickey there. <laughs> not sure what it is. Looks like a potato chip or something. Not sure what it is. But yeah, any of these cards that I'm showing, because uh, I'm going to start showing cards besides just opening booster packs. And if y'all see one that y'all want me to draw next, then we will draw it. Got us a Eevee right there. Oh, I love this one. Charmeleon, I believe it is. Yeah, Charmeleon. I love that car. That's beautiful. I love this dude too. It's a... Uh, well, I may not be able to pronounce his name, but he's cool. I like him. Got us a uh, Litten right there. Then them uh, eggs, they look like eggs. They're... I can't even pronounce their names. <laughs> but they're supposed to be on that movie, Detect the Pikachu. So let's get started. Alright, Rochester the Gnome. And just in case y'all haven't seen his channel, check it out. Rochester the Gnome. Alright, let's get started. So, and I don't copy exactly, um, just, I'm always going to say this probably in every video, I don't copy exactly the way the artist is because I don't like to. I do my version, but you know, I do agree with him. This is an amazing, beautiful card. I love it. It is beautiful. So let's get started. It's basically, I got to have it big enough for a square, but I ain't going to worry about that right now. It's kind of low, so we'll just start going like that, basically. And then, because his mouth is wide open right there, so we got to make it wide open. And he has his tongue right there, like that, like so. And then his eyes are like basically looking up like that, so we'll do that. And then, let's see here. We'll make his head oval, I guess. It's pretty much how it is anyways, regardless. And he's got his uh, hands kind of going over a little bit like that. So we'll do that. And then he's also got his hands going like that a little bit. I got to get the outline started first before I can start really drawing it. Because <laughs> he is a little bit tough of a character to draw. Not too tough, but, you know, a little bit, you know, because I've never drawn him before. Mr. Slowpoke there with them little duckies following his tail. They want to move him out of the way a little bit. They don't want him to be in the way of the drawing. He looks like he's got an ear right here. So we'll definitely add that there. Then he's got his tail wrapping around pretty long. Not practical joke long, but you know, pretty long. And a little bit of a, little bit of a, for his tail motion, 
This tail, I can tell, is going to be the most important part. And then, of course, I'll go over it several times until we get it right. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go straight across on the uh, piece right there. I might do a design because I don't want it to be looking exactly like him. But similar. Definitely similar, that's for sure. And then let's see here. Are we missing anything else? Looks like we are missing a ear, so... How far apart is it from starting there? Not too far. But we're going to do my version anyway regardless, so it doesn't really matter. Either way it goes, it's going to be my version. But don't worry, you're an amazing artist. Whoever uh, drew this slow poke here, y'all are cool. I love your artwork. Don't think I don't, because I do. It's, it's amazing artwork. Let's go ahead and start shading in right there because we want we don't want to ruin the video I want y'all to see you know th those of y'all that haven't really watched my uh, sketches uh, my version anyways of the Pokemon cards that way we don't ruin the shading or anything like that and I have never uh, outlined with an orange I'm used to using red I think orange is a little bit better for this uh, drawing anyway, but I'll probably definitely continue to use other colors as well because I think it's I think the drawings turn out a little bit more better that way. Let's see here, I'll probably do shading there or something like that. I'm not really sure, but either way it goes. Nevertheless, we probably do need to go. A little bit lower but this is my version so maybe we'll add a, another tongue piece there or something I'm not really sure we'll figure it out either way it goes nevertheless because this is slow poke here so we want to make him look cool no matter what nevertheless either way it goes and it does look like his arms uh, going back a little bit so I'll have to figure that part out as we're going along of doing the artwork drawing of it uh, but I'll worry about that part later I'm not gonna worry about that right now we just need to work on the drawing part of it so y'all can see here I'm just gonna set him up right there see if it even no it doesn't show up in the drawing so we can't do that I want y'all to be able to continue to see the card as I'm drawing it. So, let's see here. Since that wasn't working, <laughs> I w I, I'm glad I paid attention to that. important to definitely always pay attention to when you're drawing or sketching or whatever it is. Because it's very important. Alright, let's start shading it in so y'all can see. The amazing art. Well, you know, those of y'all that enjoy my artwork anyway. Because <laughs> it's always good to enjoy whoever whoever's artwork, you know, that you like. You know, because everybody likes, you know, who they like when they're... Uh, those of y'all that are into art anyways, that is. In common sense, I think everybody here that uh, watches Pokemon is in art, at least I think. I don't think it's just for the game, but then again, some of y'all just love to play the game too as well. Everybody's different. Everybody's different when it comes to art. I do it for the art though, and because I enjoy showing the many different cards that we can pull. That's the reason I do it. But, you know, this does take time, and I think this masterpiece here will be beautiful when I'm done with it. I can tell just by you know the way uh, it's turning out so far anyways but we will see when we're done what it looks like and everything but I definitely want to make it darker because uh, I can tell it doesn't really show up too much in the video I don't want it to be too light I want y'all to be able to see in the recording as I'm drawing it 
I don't want y'all to not be able to see. Because that's always very important. Uh, when filming, that is. Because the way I had to start out in this one so I could figure out the pattern was to uh, lightly uh, shade when drawing. So, I gotta darken it up now for y'all so y'all can see. And if the video does cut out, it's because the video just wants to do what it wants to do. But as long as y'all can be able to hear me when it's actually filmed, that's all that matters. But we will see how she turns out. And I have no idea what Slowpoke is, if it's a girl or guy, but he's still cool. I'm guessing it's a dude, I don't really know though. <laughs> but he's cool either way it goes. And since he is like kneeling down, looks like looks like we're gonna need to. I'm not really sure. This is my version, either way it goes. <laughs> so I'll figure it out though. I'll probably just do some shading right there. Is probably what I'll do. Cause I do love to shade, so that's probably how we'll do that right there. Let's do a little shading, and then it'll be like it'll be like it'll be like it's hidden in the shade. You know what I mean? That that'll be my version right there, hidden in the shade. And I'm a mean shader when I shade. Whew, I shade. Sirens going off out there. I'm sure y'all can hear that. Or an ambulance or something like that. I'm not really sure. But yeah, we gotta add that shade now everywhere because I already started shading, and his uh, you know hidden back over here too as well. So makes sense either way it goes let's see here what's it look like on film so far I'm not trying to look and block it out but you know we'll see how it turns out when it's done but now we gotta figure out add the duckies and I'm sure they're very important when drawing this I'm not sure even how to start when it comes to the duckies my version anyway but we'll, we'll figure it out though one way or another, we'll figure it out. Let me see here. What's the next stage as far as here goes? Because we're just about done with the outline anyway, not the shading part. I'm still going to work on that. Don't worry, y'all. We'll probably, since they, the duckies are blue, we'll go ahead and stick to the color blue. Sharpen the pencil. I should have already done that, all the pencils, but I didn't. That was my fault there. Not sharpening the pencils to make sure the okay yeah seems like the pencil piece is in there so how to draw all these little tiny duckies I really don't know <laughs> uh, you know what I'm gonna do it my way cuz I'm not gonna copy the artist's ducks I'm gonna do it my way like where one's like his beak is open Trying to grab onto that tail. That's that's gonna be my version right there. That's how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. And then he's like, "Do ducks have tongues? I really don't know. <laughs> I never thought about that. If a duck has a tongue or not, because that'd be kind of cool. But nah, we'll figure it out. though. we'll definitely figure it out. And then let's see here." Since they are a duck, maybe a wing going up like that. And then we got another one in the background over here going like that. And then let's see here, how else can we do the rest of the duck? So I've never drawn a duck before. I don't really know exactly how they go but you know there's two of them it looks like so we gotta figure out how to do two of them here but I'll just darken this one up either way it goes before the video cuts off if it hasn't already I don't think it has though I keep every now and then glaring at it to see if it off or not but we will see in a minute here when I look at it again Alright, see here, 
I want to show y'all the mixed colors before the video cuts off. We'll probably do blue because we're doing blue on the ducks. I want it to kind of match a little bit. So I'm going to do a little blue shading here for the slow poke. I think that'll turn out beautifully. Not too bad. I don't think, anyway. I don't think it'll turn out too bad. But I'll fix it if it does regardless, nevertheless. <laughs> Either way it goes. I don't know if I want to add the blue shading. Sometimes I'll do that because sometimes it turns out really good, but we'll figure it out. Either way it goes. <laughs> nevertheless, we will get it done and figure it out. Cause I want to start working on the outline before I forget that. <laughs> All the main parts that are going to stay the same. But I'll outline them a hundred times, I'm sure. I generally do. Just to make sure they're good and good quality and all that. And I kind of like the way the mouth is all the way open like that. But, believe it or not, this part here is his uh, chin. That's the what this Because this is my version, like I said. This ain't uh, their version. I do my own way, my own style. So, now, let me go ahead and redo this part here. So that's done. Get that part done there. See, I always line it in red. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but that's the way it goes. Now, I am outlining or shading a little bit in blue, so I want to go ahead and shade right here some blue get that done and over with out of the way and then figure out on the top of the head because I really want to do a different shade there to share with y'all and show y'all that I like to use all the colors and make it kind of cool looking no not this not boring no. and then the ears I'll probably I don't know if I'm gonna do the same for that or not I might if I change my mind I'll change my mind and it'll be the color when y'all look at it next time if I decide to change my mind but uh yeah we're getting it down pretty good so far I gotta add a second bird because it shows two ducks in there and uh, figure out what else I need to add. I'm not really exactly sure. A lot of shading is going to be involved in this uh, piece here. I know that for sure. Just trying to figure. I just got to like get the flow going. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm already getting the flow going, but I think it needs to be a little bit better of a flow going. You know? I just got to give her a think. Um, I may use for the inside of his mouth purple. I think that'll look pretty cool. And kind of have it like a a shade as well. Because I think that'll look really nice. Oh yeah, cool. With the, the green color. See, I just got to get the flow going, you know what I mean? And then I'll be able to figure it out what will look really cool I just gotta get the flow going right and figure it out what's gonna look the best for this masterpiece here and it, like I said if I change my mind it'll be a different color next time y'all see it <laughs> but you know I'm always trying to get it where it looks the best and that's why I got to keep going until I figure it out exactly, you know, all the colors that I'm going to put into it and, and whatnot. It's just figuring it out as I'm going along, drawing it. Because it could be done several, many different ways. But like I said, this would be my version. And, you know, you see when it's done, it's, it's amazing. And I actually just thought of something that I am going to add and go ahead and do that before the video cuts off. Check it out, y'all. Check it out. Watch this, y'all. 
Watch this, y'all. Check it out. Cause this is a this is like a genius idea right here. Cause this is like I said, my version. It ain't. I mean, this is resembling a uh, slowpoke, but this is my version. But check it out, y'all. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. You guess what that is? Uh, right there. You guess what that is? I'll make sure I can even see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. It's called Pokey Ball. Pokemon Ball. I'm sure y'all know that though. Let me re-angle it now that I've picked it up and kind of ruined it a little bit. See where it needs to be aimed at the most? I think right there. If I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to see. Because <laughs> I can't even tell now. I probably ruined the video when I picked it up. But I'm just going to pick it up and show y'all. And then uh, try to get it the whole art that we uh, came down to so far. Because I already ruined it anyway. I could tell when I moved the picture. But, you know, those of y'all that watch my channel, uh, this is just stage one. This is just stage one of my drawing. It works low poke. Don't forget, Rochester the Gnome. That's who uh, picked this card. He said this is, is one of his favorites, and I agree with him, you know, as far as what to draw next. I totally agree, you know. Slowpoke's a, an amazing, beautiful card. I like it. But, you know, this is my stage one is what we're at right now. And I'm sure I'm going to change his chin because I think his chin needs to be done a little bit differently. But uh, not too much dramatically, but a little bit different, you know. But 